everybody. Welcome to the Season School presentation. I'm Angela Magnanini, and I am a professor of special education at the University of Rome for Italico, and I'm the director of, and coordinator of TS Season School in Sport, Autism, and Inclusion. My research interests are in the field of special education and sport inclusion too. It is important to highlight that sport educators should have to know how to use sport in an intentional way to support the autonomy of persons with uh, autism together with the others. So I would like to introduce my colleague uh, who will be <laughs> your teacher in the course. Thanks to Professor Isidori for his important work for this season school and let him speak to explain the course didactic method. Hello everyone, let me introduce myself. I am Emanuele Zidori, a full professor at the University of Rome for Italico, and I am Vice Rector for International Relations and Cooperation. And um, uh, I also am the head of General Pedagogy Laboratory, and I teach general and social pedagogy and uh, philosophy of sport and Olympic education. Uh, my module uh, within the system school I will focus on counseling approach to improving the communicative management of the relationship with the person with autism spectrum syndrome in sport. Counseling, as uh, most uh, of the people know, is an essential and fundamental psychopedagogical discipline for the management of interpersonal communication. The counselor, uh, through their intervention, try to help the person come out of the negative situation um, he, uh, he or she uh, can, uh, uh, can leave. And uh, counselors support the person to find in themselves the strength to transform this situation of discomfort uh, and suffering into a resource to achieve the transformation of the subject. So uh, counseling serves people to have a different view of the world and things. Therefore, counseling is essential for those who are, for example, coaches, uh, sports educators, and parents who have children with autism syndrome and are interested in playing the sports. So through counseling, they can be helped to understand the potential that the child with autism has and can develop through sport. As you know, and uh, as Professor Magnanini has said, uh, the summer school uh, would want to spread the cultural social inclusion of people with disabilities in society. We know that among all the diversities and different abilities, autism is a very topical issue and is of fundamental importance in contemporary society. Hence, we decided to establish this school together with the University of Sport of Tirana and uh, uh, the Philippidi Association. Uh, this association has always been involved in the, in the, in the study and the promotion of uh, social inclusion uh, uh, in favor of people uh, with uh, autism. Um, and after, I will leave the floor to the colleagues of the associations. They will talk about what they intend to do during the summer school. Uh, I'm sure, and you will see, I'm sure of this, that uh, the summer school will be an excellent experience for you all. I'm sure of this because we, you will have also the opportunity in the practical session uh, to come into direct uh contact with people who have autism spectrum syndrome. We know that people with the syndrome are increasingly numerous in today's society. Therefore, there is a need for specialized person. There is a need for experts. So our standing point uh, in the system school um, is that we believe the sport can be an extraordinary tool for social inclusion. Scientific studies in this area are also multiplying, and we want to contribute uh, 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 to 
uh, the development of these studies, of these intervention in a social perspective. Now, um, about a uh, few words about uh, how the course will be conducted. We have decided to innovate a bit in university teaching by using one of the most popular social networks globally, Facebook. Really, we, 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 we would want to, to use this platform in an in innovative way. We have therefore decided to use Facebook as the e-learning official platform of our uh, season school. So to enroll in the school is then necessary to register to a Microsoft form and fill out the, uh, the, 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 the spreadsheet. Then uh, one must enroll in the Facebook group of the system school. In the brochure attached to this presentation, you can find, you will find all the pieces of information you need. The course will be composed of modules, asynchronous lessons, pre-recording materials and other materials available to the students. To the, um, there will be 10 lessons, set lessons, 10 classes. Each class may consist of podcasts, videos, or only reading materials or other materials for further study and further readings. However, participation in the final event of this uh, season school, the practical session, is mandatory. Please don't forget it. It's mandatory for the issuance of the final certificate of attendance. This will occur two times in Rome and Tirana for Italian and Albanian students. I think uh, um, I've said it all. You can contact us at the address you find below. Uh, to this video for any information or further information. Now I'll leave the floor to my colleagues uh, from the Philippidi Association. Thank you very much for, for your interest in uh, our uh, season school and for uh, your uh, attendance. Thank you so much. Hi to everyone, I'm Fernando Battista and I'm uh, PhD research in pedagogy, in particular about the special needs, inclusion, and intercultural pedagogy. I'm a teacher in a school in Rome, and I'm specialized for special needs. Uh, I'm a dance movement therapist, and uh, I'm a counselor. Uh, the talk I present uh, want to explore the use of artistic languages, in particular the dance movement therapy and the body, about inclusion in educational context. We will initially deal uh, with our research project on the intercultural inclusion carried out in Rome. And the research comes from a workshop involving migrant people coming from Laboratorio 53 in Italian Association for Migrants and uh, Italian High School adolescents using dance movement therapy, methodology, and artistic language. The second part of the talk uh, will approach to the utility of dance movement in the autistic spectrum disorder. And I'll present an experience real realizing uh, Aroma High School. Well, uh, I'm sure the, um, the school will be an excellent experience and uh, thank you, uh, good work. Hello everyone, I'm Nicola Pintus, the president of uh, Progetto Filippide, Filippide Project. And this is a special program for um, persons with disabilities and especially persons with, with autism. It's uh, very important for us is to uh, associate it at the um, United Nations Department of Global Communication. And the Progetto Filippi Day is uh, a meritorious association of Italian Paralympic Committee. And uh, I will talk to you uh, about the story of the Progetto Filippi Day and uh, our, um, our story about the sports uh, for uh, uh, disabilities and uh, sport with uh, persons with autism. It's a great honor, honor for, uh, for us to, to participate at this um, season school with the University of Foro Italico in Roma and the University of Tirana. 
and I hope uh, for the student uh, students is uh, a good opportunities for to work together for development of the sports for uh, persons with disabilities uh, in all country uh, in uh, every every street you work you want to to see about the opportunity for disabilities. Thank you. A uh, good job. Hello, everybody. I'm uh, Luca Biasillo, uh, social worker and general manager of the Philip the Project. Uh, I'll talk about uh, about the importance of the practice of uh, sport in a social perspective, and uh, I'll talk about uh, especially uh, sport is a tool of inclusion, and I'll talk about social effects of sport activity in all the realities that accompany people with autism in their lives. Finally, I'll talk about educational perspective through sports with persons with autism. Um, I, I hope you see you soon. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Lorenzo Iori, and I'm a personal trainer and uh, one of the technicians and operators uh, working uh, with the project of Filippide. I've got a master in uh, theory and methods of uh, preventive and adaptive uh, physical activities. I met the project uh, while I was doing an internship during my university years. And once I graduated, I had the opportunity to keep working with the project of Filippide. I've been working with them for, for already 10 years. And uh, now I can imagine my life without it. I apologize for my English. Is, uh, if something is not clear, just get in contact uh, with, uh, with us and I'll be happy to, to help you. During my lessons, uh, we will uh, analyze the main characteristics of the Progetto Filippide from a more practical point of view. So you can uh, immediately understand uh, how the activities of the associations uh, perfectly fits into a biopsychosocial vision of adapted and inclusive sporting activity that is uh, very central in this approach. I'll give you a general idea, and then we will go a little deeper and explain the most important details uh, one by one. Uh, thank you all for, the, for this chance, and see you soon. Bye. Hello, everyone. I'm Chiara Pannone, and I'm a support operator of Progetto Filippide. Re Re I attended the university with the thesis project Filippi at United in International Cooperation and a sport for persons with disabilities at national and international level. In this season school, I will talk about the role of the United Nations in promoting the human rights and in particular the right to sport for people with disabilities. Uh, I will present uh, two fundamental treaties uh, adopted by United Nations organizing the right of persons with disabilities. Uh, that is uh, uh, the Convention on the Right of Persons with Disabilities and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. And uh, finally, we will analyze the role of Progetto Filippide in the application of this uh, legal text. Thank you for uh, your attention. Well, <laughs> so we hope the season school will be an educational journey for everyone. Uh, see you in Italy from, uh, and in Albania. Good, good job, everyone, and bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> bye, see you soon. Ciao. 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 Ciao a tutti.